about to install the barbecue. We've cut our angle line to 1270. We suit, and we're going to run our grip work around the top, and we'll cut a soldier course in to suit. We'll get back here as soon as we fit the barbecue. This is an insulation, a bit of a protection. It came down from the roof. It's, it'll do the job. It'll be good. Okay, we'll get back in and in. Let's do it. So you can see the install, but we have to put the lead for the light down the back, and that'll be um, coming out here and running into the electrics. So give me a sec. Okay, so it's been installed. There's a bit of pushing and shoving. You have a cable coming through the bottom for the light. And we're going to center it on the brick. level over it see how it is that's pretty good that's good bring the bring the camera over and we'll check so we can see what's going on check the bubble so she's plumb barbecue's plumb and if you come around here the barbecue's level it's pretty, pretty close, millimeters. So, yeah, we leave enough room for the render, for the plaster. We have an angle. We have to cut a brick and put the angle in. And then we'll get back to that. So, yeah, we're going to put the angle in. Okay, so Okay, the next step in this barbecue was to cut cut a brick in because the lintel that we're going to fit, which is here, is not supposed to touch the barbecue at all. Um, this was recommended from the people who, um, who um, make the barbecue. They said, we don't have to rest it on top. So we had to cut both ends of these bricks to make it sit. And we just have to make sure that it's nice and level, and then we'll fit it. Now, this is the one question. So we cut the angle iron to suit a bit, but we painted it so it won't rust. But we need to get a brick around the front 
so as we can render it, you know, so the water fits in and we can render the brick. And she is still, hmm, there's a little bit in it, but it's not bad, it's pretty good. Okay, we'll get a couple of course on and we'll get back to you.